Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the second installment of Carousel Champions. For those of you who did not see my first episode, I will link it in the description below. Basically, I found an NCAA style bracket that lists all of the Disney movies and pits two of them against each other. So for each episode, I will be discussing two films. The last video was Peter Pan vs. The Jungle Book and Peter Pan won. Today, we are going to be discussing Bambi vs. The Sword in the Stone. Very strange matchup. Once again, for those of you who didn't see the last video and for those who just need a reminder, the five questions that I will be asking for each film are one, best villain, two, best songs, three, best animation, four, best story, and five, best main character. So let's get started. One, best villain. So for Bambi, the villain is man. For The Sword in the Stone, the villain is Madame Mim. These two are very, very different villains. Man is never even seen in the movie. You never see him, you just hear his gunshots. Madame Mim is a witch with powers and she can transform into different creatures and she's just very evil. Whereas I feel man isn't necessarily evil. He's hunting as humans do. I feel like he's villainized by the animals, rightly so. I mean, he's killing them. However, I don't feel that, that he's really a villain. People hunt, it's just the way. So I, I don't know if I necessarily consider him a villain. So I am just gonna go ahead and give this point to Madame Mim and the Sword in the Stone. She's just way more evil and she, she has a purpose she wants to... I, I really don't know what Madame Mim's purpose is. And that's another thing with the film. I, I don't... Madame Mim, she, you never understand why she's evil. You never understand any of her motives. She just wants to kill Arthur because Merlin sees good in him. That's what she says in the film. She says, oh, well, he must see good in you, so I'm gonna have to destroy you. And then her and Merlin have a wizard duel. And I just don't really understand why she's evil or what her goal was. It's almost like Disney threw her in there because they felt they needed an antagonist, which you, you do mostly in, in stories. But I, I just, I'm not quite sure about Madame Mim, but I am gonna give the point to Madame Mim just based on the two villains that we're dealing with. Number two, best songs. So this one is hard for these two films. So with Bambi, we don't really have any songs. If you're, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for just instrumentals or a score, then Bambi is probably your kind of a movie. If you're looking for more of a sing-along quality, neither are really films for you. With Bambi, the only two songs that stick in my head are Love is a Song, which is played in the opening credits. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful song. It's, it's great, but it's just very slow. And it's just, it's not very upbeat and, and singable. And then there is a song towards the middle of the film called April Showers, and that is, played during the rainstorm. And that is a catchier song than Love is a Song. I do enjoy that, that entire sequence, the entire thunderstorm, the rain. I think it was so well done. Um, and that song really, really did help it push forward. So I really, I do enjoy that song. Now with Sword in the Stone, there's really no songs. There's one song that Merlin sings to Arthur when they are turned into fish. And it's just not great. I just really don't like it. And then there's Mad Madam Mim, which is the villain song. Also not great. So this point is going to go to Bambi, just because of the beauty of the music in Bambi. I feel like Sword in the Stone, they just were not good songs. They just were terrible songs. In my opinion, if you love the songs from Sword in the Stone, please let me know in the comments below. So yeah, this point goes to Bambi. Number three, best animation. Bambi was made in 1942, and Sword in the Stone was made in 1963. As with the last video, I honestly feel that the earlier films were animated better than films made in the 60s. Films made in the 60s were done in this way that it just, to me looks like colored pencils, which is what I said about the Jungle Book in the last video. I don't 
like it. I just do not like it. Bambi to me is beautifully animated, especially if you consider what year it was. 1942, the fact that they were able to do that is incredible to me. With the use of the multi-plane camera and everything is hand painted and hand drawn and everything is just immaculate and I love it. I mean, they're both animated well, they're just different styles and personally, I like the Bambi style more than the Sword in the Stone style. And with the Sword in the Stone style, that happened in many movies throughout the 60s and 70s and I just, it's just not, I don't, ugh. This point's going to go to Bambi as well. So now we have Bambi in the lead with two points and Sword in the Stone not far behind with one point. Moving on to question four, best story. With Bambi, I can't really quite grasp what the story is. It's really Bambi and his friends Thumper and Flower just kind of meandering around the forest. Bambi's mother gets shot by man. He grows up, meets Helene, and that's it. I don't, I just don't really know what the story is. It's a beautiful film. It's well animated. The music is very pretty. Um, it's cute. So it's got the cuteness factor going for it, but really that's, that's it. There's really, I just don't know what the story is. And then with Sword in the Stone, there's actually a plot, there's a story. So Arthur is working for this family and they treat him very poorly. He's just like a slave to them. And then Merlin finds him and wants him to be educated because he's going, he's destined to be something great. And then, you know, obviously at the end, he ends up being King Arthur, Knights of the Round Table, the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna give this point to Sword in the Stone because I don't feel Bambi has a story. I don't. I love Bambi, I think it's an adorable movie. I just don't know what the story is. It's kind of just animals running through the woods for an hour and a half. It's just my opinion. So now we are tied. Wow, two ties. Last video we were tied after question four as well. So now we are two points Bambi, two points Sword in the Stone. Whoever gets this next question is the winner. Question five, best main character. So for Bambi, we have Bambi. He is a baby deer and a prince who is just learning how to live in the forest and he's being taught by his friend Thumper, who's a rabbit, and Flower the skunk. They just kind of wander around the forest they go through the seasons and you know he figures out what snow is and you get to see all of his life experiences and he's just a cute little deer but once again there's really no story in my opinion i just don't he's a cute little baby deer he's adorable i love bambi but th there's just not much to him there's not a lot of substance and then for sword in the stone the main character is Arthur, who is a young boy who is a slave to this family, meets Merlin, becomes King Arthur. I just feel like he has more of a story. Oh my God, am I really gonna give this to Sword and Stone? Wow. So I think I'm gonna give this to Sword and the Stone just because I don't feel Bambi does anything. Towards the end, he does save Helene, but I just don't see him as a great character. I think he's cute, but that's not what the question is. Yeah, this goes to Sword in the Stone, which means, wow, we have a winner. Sword in the Stone will be advancing. That's crazy. I really thought Bambi was going to win this, wow. I'm really trying to remain as unbiased as possible. And I'm doing that because if, if I was picking based on just, I like this movie better than this movie, I would have chosen Bambi, but yikes. In the next video, I will be discussing two more films and those films are Pinocchio versus Dumbo, two classics. That's gonna be super interesting. I have no idea who's gonna win that. I really hope that you guys are enjoying this series. 
I'm loving making this. I'm getting to watch all of these old movies that I haven't seen in a really long time. If you guys have anything to say about any of the films that I've discussed, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the same movies as me, if you dislike the movies that I like, or you're questioning my choices, I would love to have conversations with you guys. I really hope that you like this and I will see you in the next one. Bye.